I figured since I was wearing my red shirt today, <laughs> um, we just got home. I did not wear my lipstick out though. I, I was out. I was. I had. I had naked lips. Uh, we went to. Uh, guess where we went? Can anybody guess? Do you have any any possible guess? Come on now. I know you can guess. They were. Uh, the, the woman at the door had a whole basket full of these she was giving out, and I have five of them. Meyer keychains with footballs. You know, could have been better than a football, but it's a football. So, um, yes. I don't know what I shall do with five Meyer keychains, but maybe I'll think of something. Uh, one of them I'm going to keep and put on my, my board. I don't know. This one's kind of chintzy to be putting on my board to put keychains, but... I'll think so. So, um, hello over there. What you doing? You want a treat? She got kitty litter today. We bought her four bags of kitty litter. There you go. She's having turkey treats. She likes the turkey treats. Her and Heidi were both eating them last night. Right up here side by side on the bed. Cuteness. Um... Well, we left and we went to the post office because, you know, I have to go check that for the business, which after I know this, I got to put some checks into my QuickBooks. Um, then we went to, where'd we go? Dad wanted to go to Ponderosa for lunch because it's Senior Citizen Day and he can get the cheap buffet. I'm like, okay, we'll go there. So we went to Ponderosa and um, that was the first time I've been out to eat in a while. I've been cooking. We've been cooking at the house a whole lot lately. Then we went to Myers, and I looked around. Um, oh, when I got up today, um, dad had gone downstairs early this morning. I thought I heard him in the basement. I'm like, what's he doing in the basement this early in the morning? He dug out a Christmas tree for me. It's like a three foot, um, tree. Uh, I said, I thought you said there was it was pre-lit. He goes, I thought it was. Maybe there's a pre-lit one down there. So he's going to go down and look again. I said, if not, it's not a problem. I'll just get a, I'm sure we got a string of lights or something down there. Uh, I don't, so it's set up. It's, I mean, it's sitting in the kitchen. I want to get a little table and put it in front of our front door because we, we don't use a front door. Anybody who comes to our front door, we know they don't know us because we don't use it. Um... We have it roped off, our deck roped off, and uh, so I'm going to put it there. Because there's a little, when you walk in our front door, there's some tile. Not, it's like a little Noleum squares. And uh, I'm going to put a little table on that and set it up there. Because the table I want to put it on is right at the end of the couch right now. And I figure if I set it up down there, the couch is like a catwalk right to the tree. And the kitty would walk right to the tree and go, what is this? What is this? And yeah, I don't want that happening. So if I put it somewhere where there's no access to it, um, other than jumping up on there, I'm good. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, I didn't buy too much today. I bought a couple things of ground chuck, which I put in the freezer. I bought two bags of carrots, a batch of bananas, a fresh pineapple. I think that's all I bought. Oh, and some shredded, I think I just glitched, so if I did, oh well. And some shredded cheese to put in our drawer. Yeah, I think that's about it. I didn't spend very much money. It was just nice to get out and look. I still have no idea what I'm doing for Christmas. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm just happy to have a Christmas tree. I'm kind of excited. What else can I talk about today? Dad and I stopped at... I don't even, did I even bring it in here? I, I don't think I did. We stopped at Sonic and got um, a cherry limeade, which we shared because it was happy hour. First time we'd gotten one of those in months with pineapple. We have pineapple added to it, which we like and we also hate because it gets stuck in the straw. But it tastes good. It just is 
can be very aggravating. And as soon as we got home, my dad had to leave again right away because he had to go bartend tonight. So he's gone for the evening, and I'm in a quiet house. Quiet. It's 4 o'clock right now. He just opened the bar. There's probably one person coming in having a beer because there's a guy that lives across the street. He walks over 4 o'clock every day. He watches for the bar to open. So when he sees the bartender get there, he's on the way over. I don't know. Every day. I don't understand it. How? Why? I don't get it. <laughs> um, I don't think I have much else to talk about. I was just excited to go out in a while today. Just talked to my cousin for a second on the phone. Told me about a couple more toilets that went out. One went out for a um, company out of Canada called U.S. Canadia. Canadian? U.S. I don't know. He's got the business card he's going to give me. They're doing a job in Michigan City, Indiana. I don't know what they're doing. But they wanted us. And it's funny because it's right across the street from one of our competitors' businesses in Michigan City. My cousin found that funny. They, that they hired us instead of the toilet company that's right across the street from their work site. It's funny the things that you get a kick out of when you own a business. Because <laughs> it's the same people who, when we came into business, I'm going to rant here a minute. And they saw our toilets um, going out. Would see that we put a new toilet out and would go after us and try to underbid us and say, well, if you get them yanked out, we'll give it to you for this much. And, and then luckily... We have good customers who told us this was going on because they got quotes from several people, them being one of them, and they took the quote that they liked the best. So they're like, well, if you would have quoted this price to begin with, we would have gone with you. But since you didn't, we're going with them. Yeah, it's quite funny when you have a business of your own, all the things that, that yeah. Which reminds me, tomorrow my... Oh, accountant's coming. I've got to get my desk straightened out so I don't look like a total um, weirdo. I'm sure she doesn't want to see eyeball sushi staring at her and such. All right. I'm going to go and do a little work. Yeah. Get this bright light out of my face. Happy hump day, everybody.